Hello, Chris Brazier. I want to visit with you about three common myths with traumatic brain injuries that you really should know about. The first common myth is that in order for someone to have a traumatic brain injury, you have to be knocked out cold. The second myth is that in order to, to have a TBI, that there needs to be one big uh, significant impact. And the third is that an MRI or CT scan has to show that there is an abnormality or a finding in order for somebody to have a traumatic brain injury. Now let's break these down one by one. The first one is that somebody has to lose consciousness in order to suffer a traumatic brain injury and that is just not the case. What a lot of scientists and doctors say is that oftentimes a TBI victim will experience an alteration of their consciousness. So they won't actually get knocked out, but they will have some alteration of, uh, you know, of their consciousness. And that can show up in a, a number of different ways where you know, somebody is not being responsive, their eyes are open, and I've seen that before where their eyes are open, but they're not quite responding or they seem dazed or confused. And so it is a myth that somebody has to lose consciousness to suffer a TBI. The second one is that there has to be one hard hit in order for somebody to suffer a traumatic brain injury, and that's just not the case. For example, scientists and doctors have over the last few years uh, studied women's soccer and found, that, found out that over the years as these soccer players are starting to, uh, as they hit the, the ball with their head during games and practice, uh, they, these soccer players, uh, not all, but some of them have, have these small little impacts with their head over a long period of time and scientists and doctors are finding that that's causing some traumatic brain injuries in those players. And obviously when a soccer player uh, heads the ball into the goal or to another player, most of the time they're not gonna get knocked out or even have altered consciousness. But it's these small impacts to the head over a long period of time that scientists and doctors are finding is causing a traumatic brain, brain injury. Now the third one, is that the third myth is that your MRI or CT scan has to show an abnormal finding and that's just not the case. Uh, what we've seen uh, in my practice in particular and, and uh, looking you know at other cases is oftentimes or sometimes the MRI and the CT scan if there's both will show there are no findings meaning there was nothing found abnormal on the study but when the TBI victim or patient has additional testing like neuropsychological testing, then that patient will be diagnosed with a traumatic brain injury. And, you know, the technology is evolving uh, with MRIs, I know at least, but there are, the point is, it is a myth that an MRI or CT scan has to show that there is a TBI because you can have a traumatic brain injury and not have a positive finding on a CT scan or an MRI. So I hope this helps. If you have any questions, feel free to post in the group or you can message me. Uh, and if I can't find uh, some help, maybe I could point you in the right direction. Okay, stay safe and healthy.